Going bass fishing, boys. Hey, it's gonna be a good day. Today's a little bit different. We are going bass fishing. I tell you what, if we catch a bunch of bass today, we might even go catch a salmon. I'm not sure yet, but got got my daughter, Kelly. So both my kids, we're ready to catch bass. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a good time. Smallmouth bass on the big river. So with all that being said, we're gonna get loaded up. Load up a couple salmon rods load up a bunch of bass rods take the big boat out and get it going subscribe folks hey if you have not done so already head over to steelhead's website use code odds 15 gets you 15 percent off this awesome product so stick around <coughs> kelly's here loading up oh yeah i got perfect timing story of a fisherman right there <laughs> that's a crankbait catches everything but loses a lot of fish Crankbaits, quick fish, mag lips, catch everything. We're gonna hit the road, folks. Driving to the bass grounds. Taking that scenic route. Fish on, boys. Ooh, not a bad one. First one of the trip. Right on, man. Nice fish. First Billy bass of the day. Go, Charlie. Turn it in the mouth is a circle. Yeah, we're gonna let him go. Not a bad one. Bye-bye, Got that one. Walmart dollar spinner bait. You don't need to spend that much. Just get out there. Go do it. Hell yeah. Oh, there he is. Nice one. Throwing the drop shot. Oh, that's a really nice one. Oh, really nice, dude. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. 
Look at that. Oh, buddy. Look at that bass. We're gonna get a weight on that one, guys. Come here, Charlie. Look at that, he just jumped it. You see the way he fought? Heck yeah, guys. That was a good one. Fishy. Look, Charlie. Big fishy. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's why we come Ow. Columbia River. There's a scale behind you. Yeah, I know. That's why we come Columbia River smallmouth fishing, guys. Hell yeah. That's a good bass. 2.9. Three. Three. Wow. That's a thick fish, huh? I told you, man. They're nice fish. Alright guys, three pound smallmouth. Gorgeous. That's a nice one. Alright guys, Kelly caught a nice one. I followed up with a three pounder. That's why we fish out here in the big river, man. Big river, big fish. Just casting at this here bank. Letting that spinner bait sink down. Good for slow roll. It's right there, Charlie. Behind the driver's seat. There's a tippy cat. guys, we're gonna make a move. We only caught two bass, we probably had three bites. So we're gonna try to get out of the wind a little bit, find a cove, get protected. The wind's blowing this way, so we need a shelf on that side. Stick around, folks. We need to get Charlie rolling with a bass. Or a bass. <laughs> Bass. Charlie, come hold your bass. She's back to laying now. That shows her excitement about catching bass right now. She's getting hungry, so. But hey, another bass. Get it back in the drink. Here you go. So check it out, guys. All I'm doing, guys, is just running this little drop shot. You don't really need a bumper, it's super murky, but there's some weeds on the bottom. I got about a 10 inch little dropper here to a three quarter to one of the flat. And then just, uh, just a little tiny drop and a little paddle tail. That's it. You just work this on the bottom, just small glitches like this. Check it out. So we're just going to hit bottom over here. Just slow little glitches, guys, once you hit the bottom. And we're just working it. We're on bottom, we're working it. And it's super windy today. So one of the things we have to do is fish something heavier, right? We have heavy leads. So we're just fishing these heavier leads, keeping that bait right on the bottom where it should be, and just working it. And I've hooked, I don't know, five bass so far. So it's it's working pretty good. I wonder if there's any by that structure. It's like driving down the freeway. Fish, nice one. Charlie, come fight it. Come here. That's all you. Fight it. Reel it. Reel. That's all you. Fight it. Reel it. Get him, Charlie. Reel. There you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah! Look at it! Look at it! Get him in here! Wow, you got a big one, Charlie. Charlie, come here. Another fish on the drop shot. Whee! Look at 
little bass, guys. I threw it by this structure. I'm like, I wonder if there's a fish over by that pilot. Just threw it over there, and there's a little bass. Just throw them back in. Whee! Drop shot's killing it, boys. I want to try something different, like a new video. Fish. Leave it. Ooh, nice fish, bud. Nice. Get him in there. Full flip that bad boy. First fish on the new rod. First fish on the new crankbait. Oh. Oh yeah. It's in the water in case we don't have an emergency. I think the best spot is going to be in those trees back there by that whole structure. Fish. Oh my god, it's a nice one, dude. Got a big one. Oh, no, no, no. Feel, oh, he's heavier. He's heavier. Thing's fighting like a silver one. Another good fish. Oh, oh. Woo! Good job, Charlie. That's the same one, Daddy. He's <laughs> fishy. Look at that chunk, guys. I knew that was a bigger fish too. Literally felt him. Look at that. That's probably another two and a half, three pounder right there. That's a nice Daddy. fish. Oh, three. Same. Well, that's a three pounder. Two, 2.9 to 3.1. 3.0 for me right now. Or a bad spot, huh? No, it's perfect. Really? Mm hmm. Check it out, folks. So, big rivers, white capping everywhere, but we found this little point, right? We could tuck into this cove. Kelly's gonna start cooking. Is this open? Yeah, I'm getting gas, it's not lying. But uh, there's gotta be some bass in here. Look at this. There's definitely bass in here. They're protected right now against this wall, they're probably right. stacking. And get after it. So what we got here, guys? We got some sausages. Toss these bad boys in there. Get Perfect. Them chopped up. Get them cooked up real quick, cause the catnip's ready. So check it out, guys. That's the can of food right there. Check it out. Mix that with some sausage, corned beef hash. You got yourself a little bit of a meal, huh? It's all right. It's all right. It'll do. When it's what you have, it'll it'll hold you over. Yep. Subscribe. All right, Kelly's throwing the corned beef hash in the pan. Not the best food in the world, guys, but when you're out like camping or you want something quick and on the water, there you go. Mix it with some sausage, usually some eggs and bacon, and add a little of your own potatoes in there and it comes out all right. Not the best, not the worst, it'll do. Yep. It'll do. Let's 
So the way the way the world works, guys, basically what happens is you go to work Monday to Friday. Columbia's calm, Big River's calm. Fish are biting. Fish are biting. And then you got a day off. It's called Saturday. Okay? Some of these days off are Sundays. And then it starts blowing 95 knots. The wind report said seven miles an hour. And we're looking at 25 to 30. So, welcome to the Columbia River Gorge. Well, we're excited. I caught two three pound smallies. I mean, any day you catch two three pound smallies is a good day, you know what I mean? So, a couple of those three pounders, eating some breakfast on the river, got my daughter, she fought a couple bass. Um, I think overall we're like six or seven for 10. So we've got seven smallies out here and braving the elements, man, but any day on the, on the water is a good day. Um, so we're hoping to get about 20 bass today. That was our goal. If we can hit that, we'll maybe do a little salmon fishing. So stick around, but hey, fishing the odds, baby. We are out here defying the odds. Out here just trying to catch trophy smallmouth. I, my, my goal was a four pounder, so we're we're right, we're right in there. I caught a 3.2 today, so we're right, we're right in that threshold. So if I can find another couple big bass out here, I'll be super excited. Anyway, guys, subscribe, stay tuned. Let's get some more bass content for you guys. Fish in the odds is not just salmon too, baby. I want to do some of this bass fishing too to get you guys intrigued. Hey, what are you doing, Charlie? Are you eating some food? No. <laughs> not yet. You gotta let it cool down, huh? Oh, Charlie's got food. No, no, no. Don't show my food to people. Okay. They're mine. She's like, it's my food. They're mine. You reeled in a couple bass today, huh? Remember? Good job. Give me a knuckle. Give me a knuckle. Oh. <laughs> All right. Just relaxing, protected from the wind by this cliff. All right, Kelly's got a fish on, boys. Keep let it peel, drag. Let it peel. Oh, a nice one, Kelly. That's a good one. Nice one. Okay, you can grab it. That's a nice fish, bud. Oh, he's peeling, buddy. Woo! What's your pound test? Fifteen. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> bring him, bring him. Oh. Oh, that's today's PB and mine. That's a 3.5, dude. Dude, see what I mean? That's what I was looking for. That's another 3.3, 3.4. Let's throw it on the scale and find out. Yeah, it's dude. It's got to be my biggest smallie. Gotta be it right here, boys and girls. You kind of have to hold the mouth just so he doesn't flop off. Dude, buddy, nice fish. Four. 3.8. I, I think it's a 3.8, 3.9. Four. I keep seeing four. I know, dude. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, four pounds, Molly. We'll call it a four.
Kelly, four pound Smalley. How does that feel? My personal best, so I'm very excited, very pumped. We tucked in here out of the wind, and we just got lucky that we dropped right on a big one. Got that one also on my new crankbait, on my new rod. I actually casted it onto the rocks and got it into the water eventually, and that's, that's how you do it. <laughs> yeah. That's how you find the big one. Hey, any 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 cast that hits the water is a good cast. Well, that's what I've always said, and I think it, it proved true today. So we're gonna we're gonna get these baits back in the water and hopefully get another four pounder. Dude, that was epic. I caught two three pounders, three point two pounder, and then you come up with a three point nine to four point four pounder. Big fish. Nice Best fish. Fun ever. Ready to get another. Hell yeah. Uh, we're gonna give it a couple more casts right here and then go into it a nice way. <laughs> but uh, no, we have hooked I think five total in here. Kelly's giant four pounder. I caught, mm -hmm. I caught a two pounder, he caught another two pounder. And yeah, this guy over here is on the bank. He caught one. Just get a couple casts in with the crankbait and then we'll go see if we can't find another spot to get protected out of the window. You'll go away. Don't look at my tackles. Well, we're gonna show the world what Charlie uses. What are you catching fish on, Charlie? What's your go-to bait in murky water? Oh, I don't have bait, but I catch these. Yeah? Only oh, these. Are they fishing now? Which one should I fish? I don't know. Ooh, nice one. Another two-pounder. Kelly's on another one, boys. Yeah. I'm just saying, I need to get one today. On a drop, drop shot? shot. That's a nice one. Right, a little tank cell with many here. Decided to come by. Cut you out. There you go. Here she is. Hold on. Nice fish, bud. Another smolly. On the drop shot this time. On the drop shot. That's another two pounder. A little white, a little fluke out there. Here we go. She go. Nice, bud. Oh yeah. Let's get some more. That's like our ninth or tenth, ain't it? Oh yeah. That's my fourth. So I was just, I wasn't even hopping it. I was hopping it. And I was playing around, and it was directly below the boat. And I was just. Eh, He's probably hiding under it. Just dragging it. Wasn't yeah. even taking it off the ground, and then it just pinned. Nice. That's good. Awesome. Let's do it again. Yep. Charlie's sorting through tackle. Just getting all our favorites. All right. Well, we've landed, I think, 10 bass so far today. Um, we're not that far into the day. What is it? It's 2 o'clock. We've really been bass fishing like three and a half hours. Um, so I think we're doing pretty good. We just need to find more spots to stay tucked away from all this crazy wind. Um, that was a muddy spot, which was really hard to tell from the other side of the, the river. Seeing this from the other side just looked like a regular spot, and then we got closer to fish this island that's right here. And it was too windy for that island. So we seen this and threw him over there, and Kelly caught the biggest bass he's ever caught in his life. So worked out pretty good. We had some breakfast right there, stayed out of the wind, it was enjoyable. So, so now we're gonna make a move real quick. I re-rigged up a crankbait, I have a drop shot rigged up, and I have a spinner bait rigged up. So let's let's run around this peak right here. It looks like there might be something we can tuck into. If not, we're gonna run back down, back down river. So stick around guys. Super calm outside. Wind's got nothing but harder, <laughs> faster, and stronger. Big water. It's 115 feet right here. That's part of it. She's a bumpy ride, everybody. She's a bumpy ride. Nice fish, guys. Oh yeah, he's peeling. Oh, look at how hard these things fight. Are we getting another three pounder? Is it true? 
Ooh, saw color. Oh, that's a good fish, but it's not the PB. That's a good fish. Nice. Another nice one, Buzz. Hell yeah. Little two pounder, pound and a half, actually most likely pound and a half. But this is the third bite I've had in this little spot, so get him back in. Ah, buds. Small fish, guys, but we got one that's blowing out here, man. You know, it's just your normal old almost summer day on the Columbia River. Wee ha! That's it, boys. We're cooking with oh! A lot of oh, 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 oh. Look at that, look at that. Oh, oh, that's a big one. Oh, you're right, guys. It's big. You're right. Oh my god, these are huge. <laughs> Oh, that was a good one, dude. Alrighty, folks, that's going to conclude the day for bass fishing. <clears throat> we caught a couple three pounders, a four pounder, a few uh, three to four two pounders. Damn, it's bright. There comes that sun. And, uh, Sorry guys, we're like, the, the boat's spinning a circle, the wind's blowing like 90 knots. Yeah, it's windy today. You guys can probably hear it. Yeah. You know, we've been battling it all day, but we pulled out some of our best bass that we've ever caught in our lives. So, it's been a great day. It's, uh, it's been a struggle, but it's also been very fun. Hell yeah, dudes. And we don't bass fish a lot, we're salmon fishermen, steel fishermen, but hey, when you want to go out and catch some bass, catch some threes and fours and twos, that's a good day, man. And we feel good about it, so. Uh, Charlie got a reel in a couple smaller ones as well. She's hanging out. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the bass video, man. And we if did. you guys want to see more content like this, then let me know in the comment section below. Anything else? Let's get off the water and get out of the wind. All right, guys. Subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one. And see you on the water.